This is the first emergency beano of 2017. It's Saturday the 7th of January of that year. It's calm, it's mild, it's a bit misty. It's also 32 hours, Greenwich Mean Time. I'm going old school. Off to, well, I don't think it'll be sunny Cardiff. Rather grey and overcast, but hopefully mostly dry. Let's start in hope. Caffili Central. The Barber Flyer. And Prasperise Central. No longer 6.90, 7 quid. Which I suppose is not too bad. And there's the Bay Flyer. Just leave it. All a question of timing. Oh, some training on the way. Green Street. Coffee with the app. Uh, ooh, cream? No, let's be healthy. Wow, did I just say that? It's rather grey. But so far, it's grey. This is the restart. Okay. There's coffee in Starbucks. I'm starting with the carpet for Mr. Manny, who's well, going live on his chrome box today. Anyway, I think I said something like it's going to be a Belgian New Year. This is Belgian. Chimay Blue, 9% alcohol by volume. I poured it about five minutes ago and look at the head. It's lovely. Those bubbles. Anyway, um, it's a bit cold. Um, nothing like the Hamilton Hall shirt. I might tweak Weatherspoons and say you need to sort the fridges out. Anyway, did I say 9%? It smells full bodied, if that makes any sense at all. If Gaza Prescott's listening, it probably doesn't. Complex and full bodied. B. Well, it is a Belgian 2017 and this is Chimay Red. This is 7% alcohol by volume. Still a little bit too cold. Still a great head. Aroma. Less than the blue. Mmm. Yeah. It's a bit more subtle, although it's still a little bit cold. That's going to be a B++ as well. Oh, and the white balance has come in as well. It is a Belgium. I need chips. It's half lemon, so it's brunch. Ah, can't be in top. I have a feeling that it's ghost. the Cambrian tap and this is a milk chocolate orange stout 5% alcohol by volume Candy Harbour the Nissa Signora I'm not sure about that bit but 5% Brains glass <coughs> look at the floor in Mr Manning hope your chrome box is up and working mm, smells stouty Oh yeah, getting the orange. This is... It was quite bitter as well. With a sort of... burnt sense. <laughs> I've had a bag of chips from Dorothy's. Mmm! Get the taste layered on top of each other. I think I quite like that actually. B plus in a bit. Yep. Tenby Harbour. Never drunk from them before. Although I could be proved wrong. Cons. But leaf less in the gravity station. Oh, 
Music, so there could be a takedown, but for that, apparently there's issues with the Donkey Kong. Um, no cask or keg, but the fridges look good. Uh, this is from the United States. Seems to be from everywhere. Uh, mentions Memphis. Anyway, uh, this is Kona Brewing Co, which is probably I don't know Hawaii. Big wave, 4.4% golden ale. I like this, Mr. Manning. I haven't heard from you yet. Look, there's some, um, I think it's real wood. Oh, it smells, it smells fruity. Mmm. Only is it's a little thin, but be pussing a bit. I'm liking it. Listen to Windows Weekly. No Mary Jo. Just like the fact she didn't end up on the jury. Pretty arms. It used to be the Urban Tap House Cardiff, but now it's time to level Cardiff. I'll go with that. Ah! Real flooring, Mr. Manning. Cloud water. Sriracha Gazette. Probably not the way you pronounce it. French over there. Yeah, anyway. 3.5% alcohol by volume. This is cake. It's cold. Mmm, smells nice. Slightly sour, slightly acidic, slightly wonderful. I'm gonna go B plus plus. Collab again. Start again. Collab alert. Tendy brewing co. Wild weather ales. A night the gooseberry in a tiny rebel glass. No aroma. Fruity, sharp, acidic. Five point nine percent alcohol by volume. Strong, deep, plus, and a bit. Yeah, I like that. Now that goes pretty before, but there you go.